on Sunday, we will die. A powerful healing. Do you agree? Yeah. Of that family from Australia. Maybe we, if we re revisit it and see, it was on Sunday where the machine was saying 57, 56, but no more breathing rate of a human being is 95, is it? Am I correct? Is it 95 or 95? I don't know, somewhere there. Let us see the clip of what happened on, on Sunday. And when I arrived, we had a situation uh, by that side, and everyone was standing. Let's see the situation on the screen. I remember of this child, we had a poster which was written, it was written seven, seven months on oxygen. Poor lung development, seven months on oxygen. And it, I then prayed for the child. I then asked them to, they were a machine which tests if the child is breathing or not, all the way from Australia. So they went and they tested. Let us meet them again. So they're gonna test for you. Are you are you listening to me? The they've got two machines which they have. What is the purpose of this machine? Okay, the first machine I'm holding is for testing whether she's breathing properly. Yeah. And the machine to my right is the oxygen concentrator, the one that delivers oxygen. Okay. For how long has been the child using the oxygen? Since the eleventh of October twenty seventeen when she was born. She has never removed it. No. You have tested it and she has never breathed well. Yes. We were testing her every week and each time we would take, we would turn off the oxygen. She wouldn't last for 30 seconds. She wouldn't last for 30 seconds? No. What would happen if you continue for 30 seconds? The, um, this machine that I'm holding eh. will then go down to 20%, which means she's not breathing. So what happened today? Today, you prayed for us earlier on. Uh -huh. And then after, when you were saying, ask your neighbor if they can walk, we went to the clinic and I took the machine out. So this oxygen machine has been off since 4.36 today. Take all the glory, all the glory, almighty God. Uh, on, on Sunday, they then showed you the percentages of the machine and everything. This one, let us see them today. <laughs>
take all, take all the glory, all the glory, all the glory, Almighty God, take all the glory, all the glory, all the glory, all the glory, again on this message, on this day, on, on Wednesday. You're with us on Sunday, and you're one of our people in the prayer line. We, we prayed for your daughter. We tested the machine. It was showing 59, 61. How is the child today? By the grace of God, the child is perfect. She's doing very well. Hallelujah. Tell us, this is Wednesday. You were here on Sunday. Tell us what happened from the time you were here. Just give us the story. From the beginning. Yes, from yes. the beginning, yes. So, my daughter was born on the 11th of October last year. But she was born as a premature at only 609 grams. And she was only six months. So from the day she was born, the doctor said she wouldn't survive the first day. But by the grace of God, we, my mom, the pregnancy had already been complicated. But my mom had sent us some mental and some anointing oil. And we were just <laughs> anointing her. We were anointing her and from then the baby was um they call it intubation where they put a tube inside through to her lungs so that she could breathe so since october 11 last year till this sunday she's been breathing with oxygen so we came here um sorry my mind has so many things to tell you but i only have a short space of time so even when we decided to come home the, the, the airlines wouldn't take us because the pilots thought it was a risk to travel with a baby that may stop breathing. So the devil is a liar. I think on Sunday there was a lady who said that the doctor's words are not the final words. So by the grace of God, we managed to come. And even when we were in South Africa, the flights wouldn't take us. So we had to drive from Joburg to here. And when we arrived on Saturday, we came straight here and we were greeted with so much grace. And from then, our journey became hopeful. The name Lesedi means light, so we began to see light. On Sunday, the prophet prayed for Lesedi, as you saw on the screen, and she was healed. And today, we went to the doctors to see the doctors for her to be tested, and she was doing great. She was even at 97%. This is, this is the, the machine today. I want to see the percent. 97%. So, what did the doctors say today? Today they said the baby is breathing. She's managing to take oxygen in by herself. So she no longer needs oxygen to be supported. All the glory, all the glory, oh Lord. Take all, take all, take all the glory, all the glory, all the glory, all the glory.
to say um, living in a country like Australia they have first world medicine but even medicine sometimes fails because we believe in a God who is the greatest physician so I just want to say there is a God and I would like to thank the church everyone who raised their hands and believed in faith together with the prophets that the healing is there deliverance is there and let is proof for that thank you God bless you God bless you. You may sit. Clap hands for Jesus. Clap hands for Jesus. Uh, hallelujah. We are celebrating the testimony of the child. Stage by stage, when the child is grade one, we'll bring back the child to testify on their own. <laughs> for you to see that there is life. That is going. Why I brought them back on Wednesday is because I know what people will be saying. Kumaraino. Kapeni kaka. Kama you know, such, such things. So we always want to have those continuous testimonies to prove that God is alive. God is alive. God is alive. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. On 